my current like video schedule is like a video every Friday but yeah so I'm filming this Thursday and I usually get the editing done throughout the week but I'm filming this on Thursday and <sighs> so most likely I think this video might be going up Saturday but um by the time you guys are watching this you will know yeah so if this is a Saturday video I'm sorry I was procrastinating on editing and filming and but like speaking of filming myself I I realized that I to don't really prefer to like draw and speak at the same time this video I'm just gonna do this whole like speaking part and then show clips of me drawing on top of it because I can only focus on one thing at a time. I still think I'm, that I'm gonna like do some uh, drawing style videos while I'm speaking and people have also been interested in possible live streams which sounds very scary and is a possibility but I'm definitely not to that confidence level yet doing like the speaking and showing my face part because that's like the hardest part for me like speaking and figuring out things to say i hope your guys is like summer is going well it's definitely very hot here in florida and but i've been like really enjoying blueberries but also california strawberries since they're in season so i've been eating a ton of berries a lot of inspiration for strawberry salt and blueberry bill i know a lot of people are like getting out of school or doing finals i hope that's all going well for you guys i just spent like the past couple days like doing a bunch of artwork drawing out ideas planning for the next month or so planning some new sticker designs and also just reviewing my youtube channel on a whole and figuring out what my steps should be going forward i definitely do feel like i'm getting more comfortable and more into my like my own editing style yeah i've been speaking to like a bunch of people online i've been making a lot of online friends so that's been great uh after graduating i kind of realized that a lot of my social circle it's like still there like i can still talk to people but it's kind of dissipated a bit and it's harder to motivate myself to maintain relationships because i'm like not seeing them every day i don't know if any of you guys struggle with that but i'm like horrible with maintaining like messages and texting i feel a lot of like anxiety with having to schedule things like when the the date gets closer and closer it's just like uh doesn't feel too great um compared to like spontaneous like friend group meetings at like school and stuff but i'm slowly getting better at it i feel like it's just a lot of practice and i really value a lot of the people that i met during school and a lot of the people that i've met online so i really want to maintain those relationships also i've been like thinking about a lot of like career based stuff i mean with this whole social media thing and like shop opening i'm making like a good chunk of change but it's definitely not enough to live on so i've been planning a lot for the future and figuring out if this will be like a good like long-term solution for me and seeing if i could get it to a point where it would be like a full-time income or even possibly looking at some part-time jobs to supplement like my art career there's a lot of stuff up in the air not too certain but i always appreciate your guys's encouraging comments and pushing me to like keep on posting and to do more shop related things and supporting my shop which you guys like which you guys were really crazy uh, a couple weeks ago and really uh, showed a lot of love and support towards my uh, first shop opening so that was really great specifically for YouTube I like in this video I started to use my DSLR camera which is right here um, it unfortunately is an older model or something and it does not have an audio port which kind of sucks for like recording audio but um, I really want to get like a microphone to attach to my iPhone so I can record audio that way and hopefully film using this dude. Yeah, it's just an old DSL DSLR camera that I had during high school. But yeah, I filmed a couple clips for this video on it. Let me know what you guys think about the quality. It's- I honestly think <laughs> my iPhone might be better, which is what I'm filming on right now. My iPhone might be better than this camera because I was like re-watching some of the footage on my computer. I'm like, why is this kind of- why is this kind of like worse than my phone? But it may also be user error and I'm not using the, the optimal settings for what I'm filming. So I'll just have to figure that out. But yeah, I feel like in general, this whole first half of the year has just been like figuring stuff out. I guess that's what life is in general, to be honest, just figuring stuff out and never having like anything fully figured out. But yeah, just like starting a YouTube channel, 
figuring out Instagram strategies, uh, figuring out like shop management and all that stuff, business stuff, tax stuff, like it's just been like a period of just like figuring everything out, starting it up. And I feel like this summer is going to be kind of like easing off of that and kind of like finding a groove and finding a vibe. Cause I really find that with YouTube, I like to make the sort of content that is like this, where it's just like, I'm just doing my artwork, I'm explaining it, or I'm just like talking about stuff. Cause that's the type of content I like to watch. I either watch like four hour long video essays about like FNAF or like My Little Pony or watching like art videos like this, where you're just drawing along with someone, which I just find it's like a uh, really nice and it kind of emulates the experience of working in like a studio setting, um, like the one that I had at school, which I miss deeply. And I feel like I've become a hermit in my own little room, but YouTube always helps get to build those like parasocial relationships. And but yeah, I also with YouTube content, I, I really want to show like, I really want to get more comfortable, like speaking to the camera and like showing more of my personality. It feels like sometimes I guess a lot of like YouTubers kind of go through this. It's like, I want to show like a realer, truer version of myself, but it's honestly kind of like a bit scary to put that out there. And that's why like some people kind of make more curated or like fake personas so that it, you're less attached to what you're producing and it's more of like a character it's more like a tv show but i don't know i want to get more comfortable because the reason why i've like procrastinated filming this for so long is because it's like i was saying it's like difficult to speak to the camera for me it's difficult to come up with things to say like i literally have my um mini sketchbook with like talking points in it trying to figure out how to put together like a coherent coherent like monologue to like put over this video but I think one commenter put it really greatly. The videos I make are kind of like a FaceTime call type setting, which I really like because it's like not as put together um, and more friendly and approachable to like a bunch of different artists. So I think I kind of want to like emulate a bit more of that vibe more throughout my uh, content and just all in all, just get more comfortable with appearing on camera and speaking. But yeah, like about like showing more of my personality. I feel like the times where I film myself with other people, like there was like some clips with my boyfriend in the plant paint with me video, which in fact he did get me, he did get me a plant uh, for uh, our anniversary. So I have that now, that's a cool update. I'm trying to figure out what to name her. Uh, I have no idea. Um, so if you guys have any ideas, put it in the comments. Uh, but yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, he got me that plant. Oh yes. When I have videos where I'm like speaking to another person, I feel like either they like say something funny or I'm able to like show a bit more of my quirky personality or like comedy through that. I swear I'm funny, I swear. Speaking alone, to <laughs> speaking alone to a camera is, it kind of feels like I'm like at an interview and I'm like speaking and I'm like presenting my case and like why you should hire me, why you should watch my videos. So I definitely want to get more relaxed and a little less like, a little less planning goes involved, a bit more um, on the cuff like this, even though I have notes written down right here. So for the art specifically featured in this video, this week was kind of like just a, it was, I think I filmed most of these clips in one day. It was like a whole day drawing session and I really enjoyed just like getting a bunch of ideas out. I recently watched uh, the full series of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, and I really, uh, I really like the show. Very cute, very disturbing. Uh, I love the whole like art direction of that show and the different animation styles were really great as well. But yeah, like most of the art like this week was just going through ideas that I had and sketching them out. Just honestly like having a drawing day just for my own sake because I just like love drawing and like creating and doing stuff and figuring out uh, new techniques or new like ways of making art and trying to convey some sort of story or some sort of character through that art. And it was just like a day to like kind of just do what I love, which is, uh, it's nice. Uh, yeah, I think, what did I make in this? I assume future Shannon will just be editing and putting a lot of these uh, clips up. So I just wanna try to see what I drew. I also, yesterday I was like compiling a lot of like sketches and 
artwork that I made uh, for like the past month or something and I realized I like forgot a ton of stuff that I made because I feel like so often I just like draw it out and I'm like okay and it's just a sketch and I don't take it further and I just like move on to the next idea but I'd really love to like stay on one idea flesh it out and and then move on so I can um, actually like learn something and not just like sketch it out and just well, there is a good thing to like sketching and ideas and especially when you don't have time or the creative energy to like take something further. Um, but I'd really love to create more finished pieces and I hope like doing more like video styles like this one, I can kind of like focus on one piece in the future and just finish it. Just like take it to like a finalized form because I think most of the art shown in this are mainly sketches or drafts for like sticker designs or future illustration ideas but yeah I just drew I was like having these ideas of like like a fairy bean inside that plant and just like living there like one day I just walk up to the plant and there's like a fairy like sleeping in the plant it's not that original of idea but I just want to do it for my own like for just kicks and giggles and just designing like a fairy character which I'm not fully um, content with her design yet but it's getting there and a bunch of the legal pad notes were inspired by that and it's just following a train of thought to uh, reach whatever I was trying to convey. I also like featured a lot of uh, digital art in this. I went back to some of the mermaid drawings and did like a uh, plan for like a strawberry mermaid sticker. I didn't necessarily like do mermaid this month. Uh, I kind of just like did like a couple mermaids here and there, but I didn't do one like every day, like the traditional challenge is like, but I really enjoyed creating the few mermaids that I did create. And also I was really getting back into like Clip Studio Paint. I was really starting to enjoy it and really finding an intuitive process with the application. I was also real realizing through all of this, like my, my planned out art days and where I like spend a couple days like making art it's it's now becoming like since i opened my shop with like stickers there's now a like forefront part of my creative brain it's just like oh can i make this into a sticker like oh can i make this into a product or like, is this gonna would this sell as a design which is just the nature of being an artist and monetizing your art but it's also it's kind of sad because now it's just like i'm just not just like drawing to draw now it's like there's a there's a quote-unquote worm in my brain it won't allow me to like create just for fun or create uh for uh just like creation sake and i know it's kind of sad but also i just like to i think it's been really fun to like design these stickers and be excited about future products and and be excited about like getting them out to you guys it i definitely feel like some sort of this this idea of like producing my artwork for sale i don't know it feels sometimes feels a little strange as someone who just intrinsically loves to create and loves to draw because I've sort of like, if you don't know, I have a studio like painting account that I've pretty much abandoned since like February or March. I really want to like continue painting and using pastels and using acrylics, but that sort of art work that I like to make surrounding those mediums doesn't necessarily, doesn't necessarily translate to like, uh, stickers or um, the type of content I like to post on Instagram. On Instagram it's a lot more casual, it's a lot more sketchbook content, digital art, uh, fan art uh, subjects, which you can achieve with like painting and traditional supplies, but I kind of, in my like artist heart, I try and leave the more traditional paintings to a lot more like thought out meaningful ideas that I have. I'm not saying that the stuff that I post on Instagram isn't like thoughtless or like purely for um, uh, audience consumption. Like like I put my heart and soul into like strawberry salt and blueberry bill and all those silly doodles that I do. Like a sketchbook is a part of my like identity I feel like or like it's a part of my artistic identity and it's really important to me so like that stuff it's it's meaningful to me but painting and like doing doing the acrylics and like pastel i feel like in my own process that takes a lot of time and planning and i haven't been able to allocate that to that practice because of all the business and all the content creation side taking over so hopefully in the future i'll be able to um 
get back into that. Um, I am speaking with some um, art supply brands that have reached out to me asking if I want to try some more traditional materials and do some paintings, which I really want to do. I just got to figure out how to make it all work together and balance it all. So what else am I drawing in this video? I think, oh yeah. I was working on a concept for a Jerma mermaid sticker, but it's the reverse like mer person where it's a fish head and a human body. I really like how that's turning out. I don't think I finished it yet. Um, I'm definitely close to a finishing point, but I really like how he's turning out and I can't wait to make that a sticker because, because I really want it to be a sticker. So hopefully that'll be up with all the June stuff. As I was making it, I realized I haven't really like painted a fish before. So I had to look up a lot of references. I think I mainly use like color reference of like a, a yellow snap, not a yellow snap, a red snapper. So that was fun, learning how to draw fish. But also like once again, like starting to use like Clip Studio Paint has been really fun. And I'm honestly starting to like it more than Procreate. I just feel like I need to, I need to get better painting brushes in Procreate, I think, because the painting brushes that they offer, like the default, most, I think pretty much all the brushes I use in Procreate are the default along with some like three or four like custom brushes that I've made and experimented with. Their painting brushes, I don't really like how they're set up. Uh, so I may just have to like tweak it and go into it, but I definitely want to look and see what other artists use. Brushes, they're definitely not going to make you like a completely different artist or like so much better, but I definitely feel like they help in getting certain textures or certain like uh, pressure sensitivities. Um, but with uh, Clip Studio, I have a bunch of like old brushes downloaded that I've gotten from like other artists and I was realizing how much I like them and how much I love to use them while I paint. So I'm definitely not abandoning Procreate. I really like to use that as like a digital sketchbook and also it's portable. I could take it on the couch, sketch something out, um, awaken from a nightmare, have it right by my bed, sketch it out and then go back to sleep. I have been having a lot of nightmares recently, which I don't know what's up with that. I haven't been eating before bed. I know that's typically like a, a catalyst for having nightmares for me. So I don't know, maybe there's like an underlying stress. It's probably a stress to finish this video because I've been procrastinating filming this part for so long. So the nightmares were like, it, one of them was like actually like horrifying. The other one was kind of like goofy, but like in the nightmare, you're like absolutely terrified by it. Um, the first one was like some sort of, I've had a dream similar to this in the past, but it was like some sort of theme park ride. But towards the end, I had like this deep down terror. I was like spectating, like I was on the side and I knew that like all of these people were gonna die like Final Destination style. So it was just like a constant fear and me being paralyzed and not being able to do any of it. Nothing like happened yet in the dream. Like I woke up before anything like disastrous happened, but I was just like, throughout the dream, just like this terror of like, all these people are gonna die and all this stuff. But um, I woke up and it was fine. It was just a dream. But the second dream was like, it was more recent. I was like in a house or some something and someone was trying to get in and it was just this random man. And I think he was like possessed or something. He like looked like really goofy, like almost like, like a clown outfit or like, he was just making really funny faces. But for some reason that was like, uh, deeply like disturbing and terrifying to me. So I distinctly remember towards the end of the dream before I woke up, I was like trying to close the door. I was trying to like barricade the door, but he like busted through. And then before anything else could happen, I woke up and I was like, okay, um, it was like 6 a.m. And so I went back to sleep and I was fine. I didn't have any more dreams, but yeah. What else was I talking about? Oh, the Jerma fish. Um, yeah, I really like the brushes that I was using. I think I was, I, I might have just been using like the default watercolor brushes in Clip Studio, which are really great. Like the opaque watercolor and the smooth watercolor. I know that um, Prickly Alpaca, another artist, uses that a ton in their work. <laughs> I literally, when I was trying to get back into Clip Studio, I literally went back to their videos and watched their full like hour Clip Studio paint tutorial and 
saw that they use the the watercolor brushes a lot so i was just like i'm gonna do that too reflecting on all the artwork that i've created recently i definitely feel like i'm pulling a lot of inspiration from childhood things and more cutesy or like innocent looking vibes like with the the don't hung me i'm scared stuff and also like welcome home i've been pulling a lot of inspiration from that the kind of like overly like colorful and like friendly appearance but maybe uh I haven't put this in my artwork yet. Like an aspect of horror is really interesting to me right now. But yeah, just like pulling a lot of inspiration from my childhood and a lot of cutesy, girly, 2000s aesthetic is a main driver to what I'm drawing right now. Right now, like these past couple days, I've been really like wanting to draw fairies and just thinking about like Pixie Hollow and that whole thing and all the movies and figuring out like how I would like design fairies and what my like fairy Sona would be and all these characters like like the one living in the plant or I was like I did this whole coffee fairy setup I've been like in contact with a, a local coffee shop in Lakeland and I wanted to like create like an Instagram post for them and share their coffee um by the way I only had one coffee yet today but I really want another okay I'm gonna go get some coffee so like a couple of weeks ago, I reached out to like a bunch of my local like coffee shops to see if they were like interested in partnering on some like content with me. Um, I realized as I start to work with brands and um, I really want to work with companies that I really um, enjoy myself or just want to support in general. So I knew that there was a bunch of local uh, Lakeland businesses that I wanted to kind of like give a spotlight to and share kind of like my sharing the treasures that I have in my own um, hometown. Ethos Roasters uh, sent me two of their uh, coffee blends. They sent me, well, uh, they let me pick them out, but I, I chose the black swan, the white swan, because uh, if you don't know, Lakeland, Florida, like the, the mascot is a swan. And today's coffee, I did the white swan. And I usually like like a solid good, like dark roast but this light roast is like really good i think the like the flavor notes are like sweet creamy nutty and fruit forward which i could definitely taste and i don't know just with like a splash of oat milk it tastes like so good they didn't pay me to, to say any of this it's all just been gifted and they just gave me free realms on like what i wanted to say and what type of artwork i wanted to make inspired by it so i did like the fairy coffee art I'm trying to remember what else I'm gonna be including in this video like what other screen caps um there's don't hug me i'm scared stuff i made like a sticker also like screen recorded a ton of stuff on my ipad oh there's like another doodle page of me it's uh me um in like some different forms goofing around i was like thinking about using my camera i'm like wow i really am becoming a youtuber which is um never i never thought i would like do YouTube. I never thought I had like the personality for it or the like the confidence for it, but here we are. Here I am sitting, camera in front of me. Adobe Premiere Pro open, ready to spend the next 15 hours <laughs> editing, but uh, I wish I recorded a um, segment of me drawing this um, coffee fairy inspired thing. Yeah, I did that for the coffee post that I'd be doing. Um, I th think it's like going up next week after this. I was like experimenting with collaging and using the legal pad and also experimenting with like digital collage because I put it all together. I didn't really like how like the actual like sketchbook spread was looking, but I realized I can like do this in Clip Studio Paint. I can make it look like pen and ink and I can scan a legal pad for the for the texture of that uh, paper and make it seem like it's an actual collage. So that's a bit of behind the scenes on that Instagram post that probably won't be posted until Monday, but there you go. Um, it was fake. I planned it all. It's completely fake. I didn't actually draw it traditionally. I drew it digitally. But sometimes I get too in my head about drawing traditionally after drawing digitally digitally for so long like i definitely feel like stabilization settings and the undo button are major crutches when i draw digitally which i don't think there's anything wrong with that uh it definitely makes the process faster but i do feel like it's important to maintain like line confidence and traditional drawing skills so it's just a good balance to keep and something that I'll just be more aware of in the future but it kind of sucks because like I have so many ideas but I'd really love to take this coffee fairy idea further like you know how in like Pixie Hollow where they have like all the 
the talents and stuff and all the different fairies with all the different talents. I, I, I feel like it'd be cool to have like a coffee talent because a lot of times like coffee brewing and roasting is like an art in itself. So what did we learn today? I think I learned that Clipsio paint is pretty great. Uh, I need to stop procrastinating on filming speaking parts and face videos and get used to talking to the camera more, be more comfortable and yeah. Also, I need to like make some finished artwork and possibly get back into painting and pastel painting because I really miss that a lot. But yeah, I hope you guys had fun drawing or doing whatever while listening or watching to this video. I hope the beginning of the summer is going good for you guys. Also, I want to say thank you. I reached 15,000 subscribers um, just this morning, I think. If you have a name for the plant, please comment that down below too. I'd love to see your ideas. Oh, and you can follow me on Instagram to see more artwork and a lot of the art that I worked on during this video, it should be posting in the coming weeks and a bunch of other stuff as well. And yeah, and I have sticker designs in my shop that are available. It's kind of in limited quantities right now. There's only a few left, so make sure to grab them and I'm excited for next month's sticker launch. I hope this video wasn't too rambly.